Welcome to this introduction to Stata. In this video, I'll share tips and tools so you may begin to think like Stata. What really is the definition of syntax? Well, syntax are the rules governing a language's sentence structure, and it's your guide in Stata Talk for all commands. The basic structure of the syntax in general starts with the main command, has a comma, and the command options follow afterward. The stuff in the brackets is optional for a command to be functional. The syntax can be easily found with the help command. So here we are back in Stata. In the command line, type the command help, help. Hit enter. This represents that we want help to find the syntax to the command help, which we have over here. Here's the syntax. You have help with the rest of the syntax components, as you can see over here. The command itself, help, is bolded and is the first word of the syntax usually. You can see that the H here is underlined, which is status shorthand, meaning you can type in H to represent the command help. Afterward, in these brackets here, it says command or topic name. For us, we wanted to see the command syntax for help, so we typed help, help. The brackets here represent optional components. Do you see this comma? It's very important in Stata because it separates the main command over here from the options of the command, which fall after the comma. So let's close the window now and try to seek help for another command. Let's check the syntax for edit. So we can type H for help and edit. So here, under syntax, we see that edit is bolded as the main command should be, and the underlined letters are ED, which means that the shorthand for edit are two letters instead of one, it's E and D. Afterward, you can see that there are brackets, meaning that the rest of these components, because they're all in brackets, are optional. If you want it to be more specific, you can type in edit with a variable list. Var list just means a list of variables. This concludes the Stata introductory tutorial.